My latest video, I play Grill Tag with a steering wheel. Some of you are wondering, how do you do that? Well, I'm about to show you. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and open up your browser. Then you're going to go ahead and search up Nike Mod Manager. You're then going to want to head to this link right here on GitHub. You're going to want to come over to releases on the side. You're going to click that. And then you're going to go ahead and install this one right here. Once you have that installed, um, it should set you up through a thingy, but um, uh, if it doesn't open, you can just search here. Probably gonna do this if you don't have Steam Gorilla Tag, but you just hit OK, and then you hit Open. And then, once you're in Monkey Mob Manager, you're gonna head over down here, you're gonna hit Utila, TMP Loader, Actually, never mind, you don't need that. This, this, and that. That's all you need. Utila, that, Xinjek, and Vepinjek. You're then gonna wanna hit install and update once you have those all checked. Then it's just install and update. You can head back to- Then you're gonna wanna search, um, lock, and mod, gorilla. You then you're gonna wanna click on this GitHub link right here and you're gonna go ahead and download the latest version of the DLL. Once you have that installed, you can open up Monkey Mod Manager, go to Utilities, and then go to your Bepinex folder. Once you're in here, you're gonna wanna go to Plugins, and then uh, you're just gonna grab the download, should be in your downloads of the Waxim mod right here, and you're just gonna go ahead and paste it into this. You don't have to create a folder like these. Just paste it into there. Then for the controller part, you're gonna, this time you're gonna search up joy to key. We're gonna go ahead and click this. It's gonna bring you to this website right here. You're just gonna hit download. You can close out of these ads. You're then gonna scroll down and you're gonna wanna install this one right here. It's gonna bring you here. You're just gonna accept hit next then you're gonna hit next and then if you want you can create a little desktop shortcut it'll basically just like add another one of these things right here and if you're gonna use the steering wheel there's one more thing you have to download if you're using a logitech steering wheel come here to your browser and search up you're gonna want to go ahead and search up logitech g you're going to want to click on this link. It's going to bring you to this website right here. If you're using an Apple laptop like a Mac, you're going to go ahead and download this one right here. If you're using a Windows laptop, you can download this right here. If you're using Linux, there's no download option, sadly, so you can try downloading Windows, but it might not work. Once you install it, you're going to open it, and it should bring you right here. Um, I already have it installed, so it may look a little different for you, but you're just going to want to install it to where it wants you to, and then yeah. Once you have it installed, you're going to go ahead and open it up. Once it's connected, you should see this. You just click on this, and yeah. You don't necessarily have to have the G-Hub open for the steering wheel to work on computer. I don't have to, at least. But if it doesn't work for you, then yeah, you just... Have this open while you're playing Gorilla Tag. And you're gonna hit next. And then you're just gonna hit install. It should open up, look like this. Um, and this is where we set it up. If you're playing, if you wanna play Gorilla Tag with the steering wheel, then I recommend copying these settings down. Uh, just hit joystick one. And yeah, those are my settings. And uh, But the thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna wanna head to settings. Then you're going to want to go to preferences and the input device types. You're going to want to set this to the bottom one. This one right here, it looks like that. You're going to hit OK and then you can start setting it up. So what you can do to basically set it up is you just like press a button on the steering wheel and see which of these columns will light up and then you're going to set that to what you want. So like. You press on the steering wheel, column will light up, and so I'm pretty sure that is like this one right here for me. You just 
double click on the column and then you're going to want to set this top one to what you want. So like if you want to use the steering wheel to go forward, you set it to W because you use W on your keyboard to go forward. And for like the looking around thing, it should be these POVs right here. I just click on it, then you go on to the mouse tab right here. You don't need to go to the mouse advanced, but just the mouse tab right here. And you're gonna set the mouse movement to the direction on the D-pad or joystick that you're using it on. So I press like the D-pad up, you want the mouse movement to go up with a speed I'd say recommend 75, so just set that to there. And lastly for these, um, these are just like the same thing except it's like right clicking and left clicking for the mouse button, so yeah. But go ahead and pause the videos and copy my settings if you need to. If you're using a different steering wheel than me, it may be a little different, but yeah, it should be the same. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to my other settings. And yeah, uh, those are my settings. So it may not be exactly the same if you're using a different steering wheel, just to let you know, but you should be able to adjust that to however you like. All right, now for the controller one, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is connect your controller to your computer first, obviously. It should connect and then it should be all like this. Um. So I haven't actually done any configuration with the control yet, so I'm about to do that. Then you can copy my settings. I finished getting it all set up, so now you can just go ahead and copy this down, pause the video if you'd like. Alright, now that we have all the installing and stuff done, now we just have to be able to launch Gorilla Tag, which you can't really do without the steering wheel. I mean, without the VR. So, um, if you're using Oculus, not Steam, but just Oculus PC VR, you're going to want to head to your file explorer, you're going to head to the C drive, you're going to head to program files, you're going to head to Oculus, you can go software, software again, another Axiom Gorilla tag, and then it'll bring you here. You're going to want to go ahead and launch this one right here, that says application. You just do that. But if you're using Grail Tag on Steam, you're gonna open up Steam. Now I don't have Grail Tag on Steam, but I'm just gonna use Pop the Playtime as an example here. Um, you just hit play. That 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 should be all you do. If you can't do that for some reason, you're just gonna want to hit manage. You're gonna go to properties. Then you're gonna go to installed files, and then you're gonna hit browse. And then you're gonna find Gorilla Tag and try and opening it from there. But you should be able to just hit play and launch it. Once you have Gorilla Tag launched, if you have a camera mod, like I do, it'll look like this. But you're just gonna want to hit the menu button or tab on your keyboard. You go ahead and open up this menu right here. You're then gonna want to click or just head over here. And then it'll bring you to first person and you can head back to here. Then, if you start using your controller with my settings, you should be able to move. Um, I forgot to add a sprint. I will go ahead and do that. Alright, what I did for sprint is button 5 and 6, which are my bumpers. Uh, that'll be shift, so it'll just make you sprint. So, if I switch over to controller, so you can see, I am using controller without a keyboard or anything. I can walk around, I, I can sprint, I can jump, and even crouch, like that. So, yeah, you just figure out the buttons if you need to. And yeah, there may be one more thing though before we end this video. 
is you may not be able to jump sometimes, which is an easy fix. Uh, you're just going to open up the menu again, you're going to head back to this, and head back to that. Then you should be able to jump, and it should work. I forgot to mention one more thing before I leave, but if you want to be- if you want to close Joy to Key, but it isn't working, it just stays open, you're going to want to open your task manager by hitting Control shift escape Once it's open, you will go to apps, and you'll see this. You're just going to go ahead and end task. And then, then it'll close, but, um, yeah. If you have any questions, uh, if it's not working or something, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you. But, thanks for watching, bye.